just recording and I was talking the whole time and then I wasn't recording. So here is the progress so far. We had our uh, cabinets redone and we had our island uh, molded. Um, and then we just, you know, obviously had the house painted. The fireplace just has primer on it. It was this kind of rustic brown. We decided to make it a little bit more modern. So it will get a coat of black paint. Um, and then it will get a mantle again that's a little bit more updated. Updated, fresh, and um, we'd be able to move in. Uh, I did ask for a satin or eggshell on these walls and they look really kind of shiny to me. Um, I don't know, I think it might be just the lighting. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. The good thing is that it's wipeable <laughs> and that's always good when you have a toddler. Uh, but yeah, it looks a little glossy to me which I didn't want. These pillars here are actually going to get a makeover. They're going to get square um, molding around it. And so they will be square beams versus round pillars. Um, and then let's go upstairs. Oh, just really quick. Our railing was painted the same color as our kitchen cabinets, which is an iron ore. And we will eventually get new handrails. And right now it is um, all about just trying to get, get in the house. So this is the master. I think it needs a second coat. Yep, they're working on it. Um, nothing to really show you in here. Um, the restrooms are not being remodeled just yet, so You'll see those in future videos because we are remodeling all the restrooms in the house. They're just not getting done before we move in. Something that we're doing upstairs just to uh, make the house look a little different than just your average white, you know, light uh, neutral house, we decided to paint the doors, Humber Gray. I actually saw this color in my, one of my friend's videos um, on a house that he remodeled and they used it in the kitchen. It's really pretty. I went with this color. We actually already had this color um, as one of our sample colors. So I bought a bunch of colors that I really liked um, in, in the quartz or the little quarter, whatever they are. I don't know what they are, quarter? Quartz? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I bought those and I was testing out colors and then I saw that he had posted this specific color and I was like, ooh, I think that that's one I have. And so I went and checked the color and sure enough it was. And so I did decide to do the doors all of this color. The cool thing about this color is that it's really gray. So when it's like the lighting, depending on the lighting, if you can see this door looks really gray. But then if you look here with the lighting, it picks up a tiny hint of green. And I just think that that's so pretty. So we have an entire room full of doors. And this room is gonna have to be aired out for a really long time because they use a specific paint for the doors that is really strong. This room just got painted. Um, first coat needs a lot of work. Again, another restroom that will be fully remodeled at a later time. But we did have them just paint the cabinets for us just to clean them up so we can move in. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the house is coming along. I mean, hopefully we'll be in it. Uh, we'll be moving in next week. Uh, the floors are going to be laid this week. We did end up going with a luxury vinyl versus a pergo or an engineered wood, just because 
This is probably not our forever home and we would love to eventually, um, you know, lease it out and uh, we would like to have floors that are able to, to withstand a lot of traffic and won't scratch easily and also won't um, warp with any kind of spilling or water. So, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'll show you our backyard. It is massive. We're actually on a quarter of an acre, but it is on a slope. So we, um, we actually were not 100% aware that it was such a big slope when we purchased it. So um, our search for a home was really rushed because the interest rates were going up and they were going to go up I think two points in August so we had to be in escrow um, in July um, and so um, we had to lock in our rate before the uh, the rate went up so we kind of just made a choice really based on location and price um, and so although the yard is massive it does have a slope, which my last house had, and it was um, a pain in the butt to fix, but we're really excited about it. Now this side yard actually is really massive, and there's a gate here and there's no entrance, but I'm gonna put my camera over the fence so you guys can see. So that's it. That's the the update on our new house. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the side yard that I was talking about earlier. So it's a pretty good size. So I think that I'm going to use it for gardening and growing some food. Wow, it's really opening it up. And there's the porch. You can see the porch. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on. Yeah, I see that. Come over here. Okay, come over here. exciting to see the front of the house. Wow. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing?
That's a lot of trees. A lot of bush. Just like a tree. That planter is actually a lot thicker than what I thought. Let me take a seat and look. Now I can see my streets. I can see my street before. We are still taking one of the trees down. So we're only keeping one. Because it actually covers the front of the house. We will have a new video posted um, with an update. Mommy, we did a walkthrough. <laughs> we did a walkthrough today of just the progress at the house. Okay, do you have something to say for the video? How would this kind of cowboy? show you guys the progress it looks really good it's just paint right now a lot of repairs and um, we will have floors done this week so I look forward to showing everyone our progress today the painters went in and did a second coat and a bunch of touch-ups so it will look completely different when we show it to you guys next we're really excited to get those floors in so keep on watching <laughs> 